Sparkling rose from Eden Vale Wines. Nice! Is it organic? Just curious. Oh, what does the God. organic wine industry is a big deal? Wait, they have an Oryx score. Oh! How good's that? 750 micromoles, I think that is. Wow! That's I, really cool. I have never seen that mm. on a product, a UAC score. Uh, uh, sorry, an Oryx. Oxygen radical something or other capacity. Absorbent capacity. Antioxidant? No. Oh, it yeah, of course, because it absorbs the free radicals. Yeah. Yeah. That's exciting. That's so cool. Well done, that's Eden really cool. Vale. That's yeah. awesome. Nice bottle. Hemp flower. Oh, that's a win. Guess what I'm going to use to make a flower. It's a flower. That's I exciting. have some flower. Yeah. No one else <laughs> no has one. hot property at the moment. <laughs> oh, this is a, oh, hemp scones. This recipe's for. Oh, cool. Can you buy the jam as well? Though, the jam, um, the jam is just raspberries, uh, raspberries, a couple of raspberries and two tablespoons of chia seeds. What a cool idea. Yeah. Very cool. I'm so gonna make Just match it up with some chia, and then the chia, obviously you must leave it. It yeah. doesn't say to, but you'd leave the chia to soak in the raspberry, yeah, yeah. you know, and the juice for a bit, and then thicken up and be like a nice gel. It's a cool idea for yeah. jam. It looks amazing. Yeah, it does look really nice. This is what we're geeking out over. Don't they look delicious? <laughs> These. Tart cherries, one each. Actually, Cherry bombs. At first I thought perhaps they were earrings. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Superfoods, dark chocolate berries. Yum. Belgian chocolate. Yum. And vegan. There you go, all the vegans out there will be very happy with We that. usually uh, crave a, a chalky hit this time in the afternoon, don't we? Yeah. What do you got? Very chickies. Proper crisps. Proper crisps. Proper crisps, garden melody. Are they veggie chips? They are. Coomera, which is um, like a sweet potato in New Zealand. Carrot, beetroot, and my favourite parsnip. I love mean. parsnip. And that's it. A little bit of um, sunflower oil and a bit of sea salt. That's it. Nothing else. And it literally says that's all. Awesome. <laughs> and then what are we talking? Are they baked? Are they fried? Are they fried? But incidentally, they're from Stoke in New Zealand, uh, which is Nelson. We have a lot of students in Nelson, and my father used to live there. They are mm -mm 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 -mm. Uh, team combines their fashion skills, hand stringing each batch using only the finest natural ingredients to transform these root vegetables into this vibrant, delicious, stinky air fried or something like that. Okay, this is raw sea watermelon and lime sparkling coconut water. Coconut water sparkling is delicious. Yum. That is literally one of the most like hydrating for your mm -hmm. mouth things that you can drink, I reckon. Sure. Um, I told you that we just got um, joined the party and got a soda stream. Mm -hmm. um, and I keep wondering what it'd be like to stick coconut water in there. So, oh, yeah, such a good idea. Yummy and watermelon, yum. yum. Watermelon and lime is a really good combination. Definitely. Again, we've got a bounce brekkie. So bounce are the ones that they're normally in the big round ones, aren't they? You get yep, them. They make them um, list balls. Yeah. Yeah. The brekkie bar. Coconut and goji. That's it. Coconut and goji. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wholesome seeds in an almond butter. Nice choice of yum. like combining ingredient. Hey, with tasty fruit filling. That will be delicious. I know because they always make amazing things. This is Burt's Bees. I think I've said this before. This is the only brand my son will use. But And I'm thinking, oh, what's the difference? Why is it looking different in terms of branding? It's all weather SPS 15, which is awesome because um, chap lips, 
And he gets it all the time, and they call it windburn, but actually it's sunburn on mm -hmm. your lips. So SPF 15 on a lip balm is a perfect idea. It's for broad spectrum, and it's water resistant and 100% natural. So that's perfect for children. Awesome. If you've got kids like mine who do get sunburn on the lips, um, it's a, that's a really good combo. Zinc oxide, so it doesn't use any nasty um, SPS stuff. It's all natural. A couple of other brands that you could probably get that you could use with kids, but there's not many. I'll, like a lot of the big commercial ones have got all sorts of stuff in there that, you know, I can't think of the, not parabens, but stuff like that in there mm -hmm. um, that you just wouldn't want to use necessarily on your kids. And I would argue you can get into a vicious cycle of lip balms. Mm. Um, where and I've been there where you cannot stop <laughs> because <laughs> when you're not when you don't have the balm on your lips it's like you can't even possibly speak or or anything or even think about is how dry your lips are you know and then yeah. that constant application yeah um you, you can't get around it you need it you know and it's so hard to come off that essentially yeah. and get back to just having you know you know being as as you're meant to be without anything on there and they say that with smoking, that part of the reinforcement of smoking, obviously there's lots of chemicals in there that reinforces the behaviour, but um, is the action of doing that. Mm -hmm. And that when you, I'm not a smoker, and when you stop smoking, it's what you do with your hands. Yeah. And because you're no longer having that kind of, you know, that you yes. do that, you take in the chemicals. The chemicals reinforce that behaviour. Um, and the smoking, so yeah, there's a really strong connection between those. Totally, sort of I was a lip balm girl. I had one in my pocket all the time, and every photo probably that I was in from when I was 18 to, you know, there was a couple of years there, it was my lip balm was beside me. <laughs> to move on to more natural products, yeah. and I don't rely on it so heavily like I used to. No, that's good. <laughs> Magnesium cream. It is, which is an interesting idea for external use. So topical use, um, absorbing it that way. For muscle cramps, that's a really good idea. And so it's a, um, it's a cream that you leave on, like a lotion? Yeah, you use a half, half golf ball size amount. Um, and you, yes, you rub it on and it's to treat. Uh, muscle cramp, spasm, dry skin, acne, inflamed joint stress, and anxiety. I suppose because it depolarizes the nerves and the muscles, magnesium. Oh, lovely. It's got primrose oil, lecithin. Um, nice. Yeah. To copper, also vitamin E. Magnesium is one of our um, a nutrient we can oh. absorb through. Through the skin, we don't have to take it internally. Is that right? Mm. I did not know. Magnesium that. salts for the bath. Ah, oh. ah, oh, that's interesting. Oh, it's, oh, it smells lovely. It does really nice. We're clean. We're COVID free. We're COVID free. Yeah, we wash our hands deeply, sanitize, and sprayed ourselves. And <laughs> oh. <laughs> Be the macromite we jam and protein bar. Yeah, jamming. <laughs> jamming, man. But actually, it's jam. The tastiest plant based all natural protein bar in the universe. Awesome. I'm looking forward to that one. That's a big big way. Cool, Mike. That's <laughs> exciting. Can't wait. It's gluten free, dairy free, vegan friendly. I was going to say vegan free then. Gut friendly and macro. Friendly, so obviously it's balanced by the macronutrients. So that a good one for people who are into their macro counting and stuff like that. Protein, pea nut protein, pea protein, rice protein, and so on. So there you go. That's an awesome one for gym goers. It's oh, a sure. pretty cool little ma uh, macro mic. <laughs> oh, if that really well, looks that's like him. I thought he looks like. I don't know. Yeah, look, his macro mic. Looks lovely. Because I think you find a lot of uh, protein bars and protein products or products that like to tout themselves as being high protein, um, they're out of, everything else can be out of balance. Yeah, that's right. And if they don't have good quality protein sources, then you're not going to get mm -hmm. all the amino acids either. I think we should flip into one of these. Yep. Yeah. There's two, so that makes sense. Yeah. Sorry, Kate. Oh, this is peanut butter and jam. Oh. 
Peanut butter jelly. Isn't peanut it? Peanut butter and strawberry jam donut flavor. Oh that my is, that God. sounds like a real treat. <laughs> Thank you, goodness me, box. Yeah, thanks, goodness me, box. So delicious. Mm -hmm. <laughs>